Hi, this is Pastor Bob. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. The sun is just coming up, not very bright yet, but we'll do this anyway. So I just got a, a, an interesting message from someone that said, Pastor Bob, why are you so angry with the church? Why don't you leave it alone? Now, <laughs> I wish I had more than just a few minutes to comment on that, but can I tell you, first of all, I am absolutely not angry with the church. I love the church. The church is part of me. I'm part of it. It's a fellowship that we have together. And so when we become part of a church, we become part of this collective. So I don't hate the church. But it's really important that you know, folks, that there are some things happening today that aren't necessarily biblical. And I guess sometimes I get just a little bit tired of dealing with the fallout from some of the church. It happens every day for me. People that feel uh, uh, like they've been picked on, people that feel like they've been preached to, people feel like they've been judged and misjudged and gossiped about, people that have anything but a loving experience. And I want to challenge you today, if you're part of a church body, that you begin to turn that around. You know, Christ loved the church. Christ died for the church. And I think the church today has become much of what he was warning us about. Now, when I say the church, I'm talking in generalities. There's some wonderful congregations around. But there are some folks that are horrible. There are some that abuse people a lot. There are some that really need to turn around and begin to love their congregation instead of instead of uh, uh, whipping them every Sunday. And this is where you and I live. We really need to be part of a body of Christ. We really need each other. We need to use our spiritual gifts together, our talents together. Most of all, we need the love and encouragement from the body of Christ. And when you get discouragement instead of encouragement, you see, that's a problem. And so folks, people start looking. They go from one church to the next church to the next church, looking for this place that will love them unconditionally, that instead of judging them, will begin to find a place for them. And instead of speaking uh, harsh realities into their lives, they begin to speak truth and, and opportunities. And <clears throat> a lot of people are looking from place to place and not finding anything. And so... Let's do two things today. Those of you that are involved in the church, why don't you become part of the answer? Seriously, for those people around that are looking for something, turn it around. Begin to love. Begin to encourage. Those of you that are discouraged, don't stop looking. There's some great churches around. It just seems like there's not very many today, but there are a few around. And keep looking till you find one that will encourage you that will help you grow spiritually, that will point out when things are wrong, but not in a condemning way, in an encouraging way. And folks, once again, I love the church, and I absolutely recommend you become part of a body of Christ somewhere. God bless you. Have a great day.